हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट क्लास फोर सब्जेक्ट टीवीएस चैप्टर इलेवन चैप्टर नेम सेंटर फॉर ऑल टॉपिक स्लम्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्लम्स स्लम्स आर मेड इन एन अनकाइंड वे वेन एवर यू विल गो इन अ सिटी फॉर अ विजिट फॉर एनी वर्क यू विल आर मिस फाइंड एट सम प्लेसेस देर आर सम हाउसेस दैट आर मेड like the kachcha houses and they are they are in very unplanned way means there is no fixed place there is no fixed method there is no fixed chart they are made totally unplanned way that are the slums these are tin and made sets and homes of the poor these are the homes that are that are actually made by the tin and that are made by the mud set and these are actually the homes of the poor people the people those who cannot make the home for themselves they cannot invest the money on that that type of people live in the slums then poor people come from villages to cities in search of work they live in these places poor people it is the condition of these type of people they don't have the money to run their family in that case normally they leave the villages and come to the cities in the search of job in starting they don't have the money so they live in that type of places they may be mechanics construction laborers domestic helpers factory workers and rag pickers mainly the people those who come from the villages to cities they do these type of works they do the work of mechanics they do the work in the garages they try to learn and do these type of works in the maintenance of the vehicles construction laborers people do you help in the construction of the buildings construction of the homes and do the work as a labor domestic helpers people those who do the work in the home of the people to help their in their home works factory workers these people do the works in the factories as the helpers and the rag pickers you will find the rag pickers these are the person who try to find out the lost things that are they normally people throw on the roads to think that they are useless these type of people collect those things and to make it useful their shelters are made of mud left over scraps of tin sheets bell boards tires sticks and these stones since they are the poor people they don't have the money to invest on the making homes they find these type of things to make their homes they use the mud they use the tins that are left after the making the other works they also use the bell boards bell boards you will find that the boards that are placed on the side of the roads for do any type of advertisement any type of publicity tires sticks and stones these are the materials which they used to make their homes these slums are not legal colonies and do not even have basic facilities such as toilets sewerage drinking water or electricity i just in starting i told you that these type of houses made in an unplanned way there is no proper plan there is no proper maps to make these type of houses so these type of houses don't have the basic facilities these are the basic facilities which is required in an any type of house to live in a fair manner they don't have toilets there is no sewage system no the waste management they don't have the proper drinking water and also they don't have the electricity facility people in slums live in unhygienic conditions they are prone to various diseases since these type of houses are made totally in un proper manner they are totally not legal also they don't have the proper basic facilities so not be these type of areas are full of dust and these places are very dirty so normally the pests insects small animals they can easily breed in these type of areas that's why these type of people those who live in slums always suffer from the various diseases because they 
life in the unhygienic conditions. Fire is also a major threat in these tightly packed areas. Slums are made very tightly packed. They don't have the much and big space. They use the very small passes to move. So these are if the one house get fire, in that case the whole houses of the slums can be caught in the fire. So fire is a very big problem in those type of areas. The government makes efforts to provide low cost housing with basic facilities for people's life living in slums. Government, all of you know, government has the responsibility the whole citizen and the whole people of any country. So definitely government is thinking about the people, those who are living in the slums. They try to provide them the low cost housing, to provide them to the home in the low amount with the basic facilities. The local governments and welfare organizations try to provide water, electricity and other basic needs. The local governments and the other welfare organizations like the NGOs, they try to provide the basic facilities to these type of slums area. So these were the these are the points which are related to the topic slums. It's enough for today. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.